Um, do you know why um, black women want to be like white women? Do you feel like you look better, you know, with a weave or with, you know, straightened hair than your natural hair? But yeah, I mean, back to what you were saying, we're not trying to be like white women. And okay. I wish people would stop saying that because it's not true. What is the point in wanting your hair to be, you know, long and pretty if it's not ever going to be sh like shown ever? Long and pretty, I mean... Why can't black women, you know, just wear their hair, hair naturally that grows up to the sky? You're a guy, you're not going to understand, but you right. know... I Ex excuse me, ma'am. Um, I have a question for you really quickly. Oh, uh, sure. Um, do you know why um, black women want to be like white women? I don't think black women want to be like a white women. You don't think so? So why, why when I walk down the street, I see, you know, black women with blonde wigs and things like that? Well, I mean, I don't think any color of blonde hair looks good on black women. Okay. Just um, because, but I mean, we have a right to wear our hair however we want to. Uh-huh. You know, I oh. wear my hair like this. It's a protective style. So anyone who's, you know, who's black and knows, like, our hair takes that, you know, from heat. Like, I, in middle school and elementary school and high school, I wore my heat pressing every day after a while you know that's damaging so we wear our hair like this as a protective style right so the thing that damages the hair is basically the, heat, the, the flat iron the, flat. the perming and everything so right. to keep ourselves from you know getting bald and you know right. we wear braids we wear wigs we wear weaves it's not like we're trying to be like white women not, okay, okay. so why can't black women you know just wear their hair hair naturally that grows up to the sky instead of having to permit or, or you know straightener and things like that yeah so natural hair takes work you know it's right. it's it's not we wake up and it looks like that you know it's product it's you know taking the time and effort but, to, but in order for us to protect our natural hair our natural curls we don't put perms and dyes and all that so right that's why we wear the protective styles okay so. So, so you're saying the reason why black women don't wear their hair naturally is because it takes too much time. I mean, some black women I know, a lot of black women I know, especially down in like Richmond around here, they wear their hair like that because, you know, they know how to style their hair. But someone like me and like it's quick and like I got to go to work in the morning or if I got to go to class, you know, we just whoop. <laughs> right, right. Oh, but, OK. You know, but yeah, I mean, back to what you were saying, we're not trying to be like white women and Okay. I wish people would stop saying that because it's not true. Right. I was just trying but, to make sure because, you know, it looks pretty similar. You, you know, when I walk down the street, I see, you know, all, all the black ladies with their um, hair down straight. And, you know, the way God made the black woman is for the hair to be going up towards the sky. But, you know, my opinion doesn't matter. Um, it's what you guys think. Am I right? Well, you know, there have been some places where they tell us, you know, that we can't wear our hair like that or if you look in the media right. you can't wear your hair in the curly natural way because it's not like i'll give you an example like in the in the workplace they tell you that braids isn't professional mm. well i mean I, I i gotta you know embrace you know my culture but at the right. same time they're gonna tell you like your braids are unprofessional or your curly natural hair isn't like professional like right. another example in the music industry do you see anybody really wearing their natural hair like Meg Thee Stallion and all those people they're wearing what they're wearing wigs right, right but see I think they're doing that just to um, portray an, an image for all the young ladies to want to be like them because you know all the young ladies want to be like Nicki Minaj they want to be like not Meg Thee Stallion the ladies, you know not all the young ladies so I mean, not me I mean they're up there because they're trying to sell records they're not you know up there to be role models for us you know be educated and be you know scholarly people but you know um we wear our hair like how we want to wear our hair you know as long as we're professional and we're getting a good education it really doesn't matter how you wear your hair okay so do you feel like you look better you know with a weave or with you know straightened hair than your natural hair i mean i wear my natural hair all the time at oh home, you do yeah i wear it at home and i wear it when i go out i'm not it's not like we're ashamed of our natural hair or anything right. it's just like um we're just protecting it so it's just like I wear my hair like this because, you know, I'm going out the house. But, you know, I love myself. It's not like a self-hate thing. Like, just like when you see black men date white women, like, it's not like, I mean, we can't tell them what to do. But it's not like we're saying, oh, they hate themselves or they hate black women. It's just right. like, so we can't tell them who to date. So at the same time, they can't tell us how to wear our hair. Okay, I understand that. Do you feel like black men do that because, you know, most black women are meaner? 
you oh. know, they give it off that veneer of being like mean and tough. You know, black men, they just want to go to something that's more easy. Mm, see, I'm not a man, so I can't speak for that. Right. But I can say this, like not all black women are mean and tough and you know, we're not portrayed like that. You know, you watch a show and it's like, it's always the mean, loud black character, black woman character. Like, right. there are professional women out there, but it's, you know, it's who they put out there in the media. So. I don't think that black women are, are trying to be like white women. No, not at all. I okay. don't think so. Okay. Like, if we see them wearing braids and that, that might be a problem. So, so why is it a flip though? Because, I mean, like, I, I never really, <laughs> I've never really seen anybody who's white wear braids, only like, so celebrities, so right. no one I know does that, because they're like, why would that, why would they want to do that? This doesn't look good on them. But, I mean, like, at the end of the day, like, as long as you're working and you're not, and you're getting your education, who cares on your head? Like, but isn't that a double standard? I feel like you know a lot of black people. We can do racist things, but when a white person does that same thing, it's like really bad, you know. I get but, what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I don't make the rules. That's one thing. And two, like, I mean, if they're not, if they're saying the N word, then yeah, I mean, that's a problem. Yeah, the N word is blatantly racist. But I mean, you know, you know, things just just like wearing their hair with like, like a black woman's hairstyle type thing, you know. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've never seen anybody I know wear their hair like that. Only like what I see, mm -hmm. I guess, the celebrities that, you know, come out with their hair like that or whatever. So it's, it's wrong for the celebrities that are white to do that. Like, you know, what are some white celebrities? Like um, Bad Baby or somebody yeah, yeah, who her. wear her hair Bad like braids. I mean, I don't really see There's other. The problem is there's other issues that are mm -hmm. like more important than that like right. fixing public schools and fixing you know these bad neighborhoods and teaching children to read i'm a right. teacher so yeah i mean are oh, you a teacher yeah okay nice what, what do you teach second grade second grade so um, there's a lot of uniform. other things that we could be focusing on uh -huh. so i mean like i don't know like like I said. Don't you feel like that starts with the image, you know, of black children, they see their mom and she's just natural, um, natural, like inside the house and out, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's a good influence that she's wearing, her natural hair, like, but like I said, natural hair takes work. It's not like we're lazy or anything, but I mean, if you want to protect your hair, like my hair, my natural hair goes all the way down here, but because I protect it, I wear braids, I wear the protective styles, I have hair left on my head. I don't want to be 50. Like my mom, she wears her natural hair and she's 50. And like most of her friends have lost their hair, you know, at the young age, like in their 20s, because they put the perms and the dye. The, per the perming for black women makes your hair straight. The perming for white women makes their hair curly. Right. So, you know, but you know, some of them got bald patches or they, um, but if there's a new recent study saying that alopecia and all that is coming from that chemicals in the perms and the cancer is coming from the chemicals in that perming and that just for me and all that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean. I, I, so I honestly yeah. do a lot of studies with the, like hair and everything. Right. And you know, you can wear your hair naturally, but just don't put all the chemicals in it. Like, so you can use natural things like aloe vera, you can use uh, coconut oil, shea butter. Oh, and yeah, I never gotten a perm or anything just because I've seen what, what that has done to your right. hair. What is the point in wanting your hair to be, you know, long and pretty if it's not ever going to be sh like shown ever? Long and pretty, I mean, you, like I said, you can wear your hair however you, however you want. Like, it's not a big deal. It's not we're trying to impress anyone. We do what makes us happy. Right. So. So, so why, my, my question is, why are you trying to preserve your natural hair if it's not going to be something that's going to be shown, you know? It's just, you'll, you'll see it in the house, but when you go outside, it's, you know, something different. Shown. I wear it outside. Oh, you do? Yeah, I wear it outside. Well, when I wear braids, you know, you got to have hair to put the braids on, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's not like I'm lazy. I just have to do what's convenient. And, and like, not everybody knows. Like, when I went to college, not everybody knows how to do natural hair. Not everyone knows how to style it. Not everybody knows how to protect it. But so we have something called YouTube and YouTube can literally teach you anything that you want to know. Right, but everybody has different hair textures. Like there's 4C, there's 4B, there's 4A. Not even right. dividing it up like that. Everybody has a different, like I have friends that wear natural hair, they have the curly hair. There are the people that have the kinky style. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, I mean, it's gonna be seen, I mean, I'm not saying eventually, but so, it'll be seen whenever you want it to be seen. Like So a lot of people I see spend so much time on like social media and watching movies and TV shows. So don't you feel like if, you know, we just cut back some of those hours from 
doing things that are pointless, then we can have the time to take care of our natural hair. I mean, I guess. It's however you spend your time. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, as an adult working mm -hmm. five times a week and like... You just you just like to do what you just want. Just do what I want. I mean, no one's going to care. There's so many other things, like I said, just to be focused on. No one's going to care how you're wearing your hair. But there's people that like to nitpick every single thing you're doing. And that's right. not okay. But, you know. Right. And, yeah. and the, see, the thing is, I don't think, you know, people like that are necessarily nitpicking. And I think they should mind their own business sometimes, too. But, you know, things like, so let's say we were in a, a relationship and, you know, we're struggling on bills. I'd rather you spend your money on, you know, meaningful things instead of, like, hair products. Because hair products are very expensive. Like, I, I know you know this, right? Oh, yeah, I know that for sure. But I don't have, like, a big stash of hair products that have what I need. Shampoo, uh, conditioner, and then... But I go to someone to get my hair done. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, she just does a good, more, better job than me. So, right. it's not but, like... So all those expenses, like, do add up. Like, if you look at it over a year, you're probably spending... Well, I don't know you personally, but, you know, most women probably spend thousands on their hair in a year. Most black women. Yep, but if you're a black woman and you're working, there you go. <laughs> but, see, now, you're, <laughs> now your money's just being, like, wasted and down the drain, you know? It's not a waste. It's your hair. You want to take care of yourself. And but, but I mean, like, things like art artificial hair, not your natural hair. Artificial, real hair, fake hair, hair from wherever. It's, it's, you want to, you want to be presented, you want to look good. So it doesn't matter how much you're spending on artificial hair. It, it doesn't matter. Like it, if you have the money and you have the expenses to do it, then I mean, just do it. There's no one, no one stopping you but yourself. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. That is, that is true. I, I do get you. Um, it looks like we, we probably won't come to a agreement today, but I we do, I do. I, I respect you're, you're a guy you're not gonna understand but you right. know I don't want to be sexist or anything and say oh they don't have these problems or anything yeah I'm sure you guys like I'm sure uh, uh, your hair takes time and no effort. so I'm, I'm very white um, so my hair you know I just wake up and I do like that and I'm pretty much good well but then you're saving <laughs> saving your money there <laughs> right right I feel you but uh, yeah, it looks like we might not come into an agreement, but I do um, really respect your opinion and I, I get to see um, your point of view. So thank you for that. I appreciate you. And that's all good. All right. You have a great rest of your thank day. You too. All right. Bye bye. I'll be on a game, but it ain't the same unless I'm with my brothers and you know that it is a game. Which is crazy, know that it's real crazy Got your shawty number, maybe she gon' call me baby Living in the